Welcome back to the Cheap Heat Productions podcast. Okay, welcome back to the show, and I've got a very special guest today. It's Miss Sandy Johnson, an actress who you probably know from the original 1978 Halloween. Sandy, how are you? I'm doing great. Thank you for having me on. Thank you for being on. I know we're discussing there just off camera a little bit. You're a little bit under the weather at the moment, so we're going to take it very easy on you tonight. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so look, we'll, we'll go back to the beginning anyway. You started off as a, a model initially, and... When did you decide really that you wanted to go into the, we'll say, entertainment world? Well, I actually started dancing as a young child, taking a tap and ballet. And then in middle school, I was in drama and dance production. So I would say fairly early on, I wanted to pursue those things. I um, didn't really get serious with it until uh, after doing Playboy, though, and I started to get a, a lot of interest from agencies and things, so that kind of yeah, stepped like, like, Playboy was, like, such a massive thing back then, like, not so much these days, but it was huge. How did you end up going into Playboy initially? I, um, my father was very sick with cancer, and he, he wanted to go to Mexico for treatment, and it was expensive, so I, I, I really didn't know how to help him earn money. And a friend of mine said, well, why don't you get a hold of Playboy? Maybe they would uh, hire you. So that's what I did. And they did hire me. So that's, that's how I got into it, was uh, trying to earn some money for my father. And did he get to go to Mes Mexico, Sandy? He did. Unfortunately, it didn't help and we lost him. But he did get to go and we tried. Yeah, and that was one of his dreams before he passed away, was it? Yes. Yeah, well, that's that's a very good a good thing to do anyway, you know. Very uh, very clever by your friend to suggest that as a way of making money. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. So from then into the acting stuff, you were thrown into Halloween. It was pretty quick in your acting career. I think it might have only been your second or third credit. Um, how did that come about, let's say, doing an audition for Halloween? I was um, with the Playboy agency, and um, Joan Carpenter was, you know, looking to fill the roles. And uh, he contacted the Playboy agency and asked to, for them to send some ladies over, and I was one of the ones they sent. And uh, they interviewed me, and then a couple days later, they said that I had been cast as Judith Myers. And what was the interview process like for, for that role? I um, read a few lines from multiple parts, and yeah. they did have me scream, which was interesting. It was a residential neighborhood, not a studio. So that was I kind of wondered when I was doing that about the neighbors. But um, it, it wasn't a particularly long interview. It was just reading some lines and talking a little bit and having me scream. And, and I thanked them. And next thing I knew, I was cast. Yeah. Did you have an interest in the horror movie genre before then? Or were you big? were you a big film fanatic? Or was this just something that you wanted to do maybe to make money? I, um, I had always been a, a horror fan. My dad like spookers and so he started taking me when i was fairly young and so yeah i was definitely a, a horror fan not that that had been the, what i wanted to make movies i just wanted to make movies but uh 
I'm glad that I did get to make a horror one. Yeah, and it's not just kind of anyone. It's one that's stood the t stood the test of absolute time through many sequels, many remakes. Even to this day, it's still going on. Another one coming out this October. How does it feel when you look back on it to be part of one of the biggest and best horror franchises of all time? Wow. I mean, it's amazing. Obviously, John Carpenter is fabulously talented. The, the story just, I know you just never get tired of it. I've seen it so many times and I always enjoy it. It's always scary. So um, yeah, I'm very proud to have been a part of it. And I'm, I'm glad that it's, it's uh, stood the test of time. It's absolutely stood the test of time. Do you watch it yourself around Halloween time? I watch it, I absolutely watch it around Halloween and I watch it at other times too. Sometimes I just get in the mood for Michael. <laughs> yeah, so sometimes people don't like watching their own work on camera. And I'd be kind of guilty on a smaller scale of that. If I, looking back at myself, even recording a podcast, I just don't want to see myself. Well, you have no problem kind of looking back on your work, have you? No, I don't. I don't mind looking back. It's kind of fun, really. It was a, such a long time ago, and uh, yeah, it's kind of fun. Yeah, and we'll say to this day, with the with the way the horror convention world is, I noticed on some of your social medias and stuff like that, you get to go and do these conventions. What's it like doing these conventions? It's crazy kind of little world, isn't it? Yeah, it. It has been a real eye opener for me. I had no idea it was such a tight knit community and that there were so many truly lovely, interesting people in it that have definitely welcomed me in <laughs> with loving arms. So I, I actually love the cons. I really enjoy it. I'm always excited when my agent calls and tells me that another one's been booked. So yeah, I love it. It seems anyone that I'd be talking to from various different franchises enjoy them because you get to meet people from the Halloween franchise. You, you guys get to like go to different cities and hang out. Like it must be really cool after all these years to be able to do that. It is. It, it's it's very fun, and I have enjoyed getting to know the Hall the original Halloween cast as well as some of the more recent ones. They've been a lot of fun to hang out with, and I'm proud to know them. They're all very nice people. Yeah. I always ask this question, Sandy. I don't know if you have an answer for it. What's the funniest or strangest thing you've seen at a convention before? Wow. <laughs> um, funniest or strangest thing at a convention? I guess, I guess really just the cosplay. They just, it's amazing how creative they are and that they, um, I don't know, they just amaze me with the costumes. The one I was at last weekend, they, they were just, I just had such a fun time interacting with all the haunt characters and everything it was a haunters convention. I guess one thing that was kind of fun was we were in New Jersey and my banner kept falling down and there were two two guys in stilts and clown suits who <laughs> could jump on their stilts i mean they were like jumping stilts and they just came like kangaroos came into the room and said here let us help you and they just jumped up behind us and they put the banner back up for us and got it to stay and it was just like it was such a surprise. I'd, I'd never really seen jumping stilts before. And to have these two clowns just come out of nowhere and jump in and put up our, our banner was really fun. That's a good little story there as well. But you're obviously busy doing these conventions and they're really becoming a massive thing now, not, not only in the US, but even over in the UK and Europe as well. How did it feel? Obviously, I don't know the situation during the pandemic when that all stopped. And did you get to do many conventions or was that all kind of off the table for you? I was actually scheduled for about seven conventions. And unfortunately, I had to watch them cancel one by one. So, yeah, that was very sad. 
and hard on a lot of the companies. Some of them may, may not be back because it was devastating for them. But a lot of them are back and we're back in business. Now we seem to be having a little bit of resurgence again. So I hope that it does not affect the cons I have coming up again because I have several coming up and I really want to do them. So yeah, do you so, do you want to yeah. do you want to give a shout out to what you've got coming up? Yeah, I have um, Mad Monster Party. That's in uh, Concord, uh, North Carolina. That is in uh, there in August. That was in August. And then I'm also doing um, uh, Still Still City Con, and that's in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. That's also next month. And I have some others that haven't announced yet, but people can watch my my website. And when I do announce that they, they will appear there and also on my Facebook and Instagram. Yeah. And in terms of the movie situation for yourself, are you involved in any projects at the moment? I am. I have done two cameos. One was for Hungarian film called Vulps, The Lust for okay. Revenge. I also did one called Halloween Slasher that um, is still in pre-production. The, the one in, in uh, Hungary, I think it is, um, it's in post-production, so it could come out at any time and it should be very good. I also have several lined up to shoot, hopefully later this year, that I have uh, actually have really good parts in, so I'm excited about that. Yes, you're still very much active now within the acting world and is it, is it horror more so than anything that you're doing or would you like to dever into any other genres uh they are they are all horror and that's fine but i mean i'm happy to do other genres as well i love comedy drama um so yeah things are looking up yeah it's good it's good to see the kind of the entertainment world coming back with a bang really after the last couple of years and it's great to see all you guys out doing conventions and doing what you love again yeah absolutely i was so excited to be able to do for the love of horror in uk uh last year and we stayed a while and we got to travel a little bit and it was wonderful country wonderful people we had the best time yeah that was in liverpool was it or was it manchester uh manchester yeah, Manchester is a great little city. The local people are really nice there. Very nice. And then we went to Hull, and I did a soundtrack for a horror film there. Uh, that one is uh, Jim Creeps. And then from Hull, we went to um, Whitby, and uh, we took a kind of a tour to get there through the hills and moors. It was beautiful. And then we had fish and chips. <laughs> Very traditional. <laughs> Have you been to Ireland yet? I have not, but I would love to. It was my father's favorite country. Oh, really? Well, you're going to have to go at some point, and hopefully, maybe, you never know, we might have a horror convention here sometime, hopefully. That would be nice. I, I'd like to honor him by going there someday. Yeah. Sandy, if people want to watch your work, find out where to, where to find you. Uh, do you want to give a shout out to your websites and where people can find you on social media? Sure. My website is unicornsandyj.com. My uh, Instagram is unicornsandyj. And my Facebook is uh, facebook.com, the real Sandy Johnson. Yeah. Sandy, absolute pleasure to have you on today. I told you we'd take it easy on you. We <laughs> might get you back on for a more detailed interview when you're not under the weather sometime. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. I enjoyed speaking with you. You too. Thanks.